what's going on youtube and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm bringing you guys a guide on how to tap strafe in apex legends so if you don't know what tap strafing is it is a movement tech that allows you to make sharp moves and turns while keeping your momentum normally you cannot do like a normal 180 you would fly backwards if you turned but what you can do is if you tap strafe you can do a 180 and rotate all the way around and maintain your momentum it also allows for some really creative movement ideas um, but unfortunately this is something that can only be done on mouse and keyboard i think there is a way to do it on controller but the, you have to use some sort of program to like remap your controller and for the sake of the video and because i don't know how i'm not going to cover that this is going to be strictly for mouse and keyboard players but before we get into the video if you find any of this information helpful and you want to come back and see more of my content don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time i upload a new video and if you do enjoy the video and find it helpful go ahead and leave a like this let the algorithm know that more people uh, can see this video it can help them out some more and let's go ahead and get right into the video so the very first thing that you need to do in order to tap strafe is you need to set up uh, the correct settings to do this so for me and most players uh, I haven't really seen anyone that uses uh, tap strafe any other way what you want to do is you want to have your movement key set to W and your secondary key you want to have it set to scroll wheel up um, you're going to need this in order to tap strafe uh, you'll see why once I get into how exactly to tap strafe so basically what you want to do in order to learn how to tap strafe is you need to get used to letting go of W when you're like slide jumping you you, you don't even need it like whenever you're slide jumping I'm going to jump and I'm going to let go of W and I still keep my forward momentum um, so what you do is when you slide jump, you're going to use your scroll wheel. You're going to scroll up while hitting a directional input like A or D. Uh, so it'll look something like this. Now, normally, if you were to do something like that and you jump, you, you don't go near as far or near as sharp. You don't have near as much velocity when you're doing that. So you jump, enter in that scroll wheel, and you move to the left or to the right like that this also allows you to do a 180 uh entirely and wall bounce off of it like this which normally you cannot do you normally if you ever tried that you will just well i hit the scroll wheel right there normally you would just like go like this you know what i mean you're not gonna fall you're not gonna fall into the wall you're just gonna fall straight down so like i said in order to practice this what you want to do is get used to slide jumping and letting go of w and then you're going to scroll your wheel now, when you're scrolling your wheel and you want to turn, you want to turn and scroll your wheel at the same exact time. Do it simultaneously. That's how you get those really clean 180s like those. It's also beneficial because you can use uh, tap shapes after doing wall jumps, which allows you to either turn a corner faster or even get over a wall. To get over a wall, it would look something like this. You can also tap strafe into a wall jump into another tap strafe um, this can be used because like if you're too far away from the wall uh, and you need to close that distance and keep your momentum to get your wall jump off uh, you would tap strafe into the wall and then from there you can it resets and you can tap strafe again if it's either you know off to the side or over a wall and that would look something like this And since you can tap strafe out of wall jumps, you can also wall jump off of a corner and then tap strafe around the wall to get like a crazy angle on someone. Now, another thing that you can do with tap strafing is you can actually tap strafe off of Octane's pad in two different ways. So the first way is honestly the hardest way to do it, but it's pretty simple once you learn how to do it. Uh, you can change directions completely after you hit the pad while maintaining your uh your double jump so it looks like this now in order to do this the first way what you want to do is you want to input a jump right as you're hitting the pad uh so what i like to do is i like to scroll down on my my mouse wheel and then scroll up immediately so it, it would look like this so when, as soon as you hit that, you're going to scroll down, scroll up immediately, and you're going to input an A or an D and turn 
towards that direction. So if you input D, you're gonna turn towards the right. And if you input A, you're gonna to turn towards the left. So this is the result that you get. And the more you, the more of a swipe you get, uh, the more you have to roll your your uh, mouse wheel upward. So basically, just try to try to keep that swipe going as long as you're rolling your your mouse wheel. Now, the reason why this is good is, say, there's like a pad in like an awkward spot, and you're fighting someone right here. You need to get out of there quickly. You can just immediately change directions, just like this, to disengage. Um, that way, you don't have to like only go the direction you're facing. Now, the second way to tap strafe off of this pad is you use your double jump to initiate the second tap strafe. Uh, so the reason why this is good is because say there's, you know, you do need to get this direction, but you need to get over here and the pad is right here. You'd run into the pad, right? And then you can just shift direction just like that. Uh, there's reason why this is good is because you get to keep your momentum on the direction that you're jumping to. Whereas when normally you would do it, it would look like this. And then you would, you see, you don't get near as far when you do it like that normally. Now, in order to do this the second way, uh, what you're going to want to do is going to be very similar to the first way of doing this. Uh, what you have to do is while you're mid air, you're going to scroll down. And then as you're turning, you're going to scroll up and make sure you're hitting a directional input as well. So while you're in the air, scroll down and scroll up just like that. Show you one more time. You're in the air scroll down and scroll up just like that now the last tap strafe technique that i want to talk about personally is going to be you using uh zip lines what you can do is you can tap strafe off of the zip line uh so to do a zip line jump you want to hit interact and jump at the same time so it looks like this and what you can do is you can tap strafe uh, immediately off of that. So it looked like this. Yeah. So what that allows you to do is everyone likes to, uh, to fight in the zip line buildings. Uh, those are known as the streamer buildings. So basically, if you use this technique, it's really good for getting up zip lines. Uh, it's good for fighting inside of buildings that we can make sharp returns to reposition inside of buildings. And honestly, it's a technique that you really should learn how to do. So like I said, you're going to interact and jump at the same time. What I do is I interact and I scroll down. I use F as my interact. And then from there, I use the tap strafe and uh, tap strafe off of it. Well, it looks just like that. Anyway, that is it for the video. What do you guys think about tap strafing? Honestly, right now it's really controversial if they even want to keep it in the game. Someone, some people think that it's an exploit. Other people think that it is a design mechanic. Um, but right now, really no one knows what's going to happen in tap strafing, if it's going to stay in the game or if it's going to go. Honestly, personally, I like tap strafing. I think it's really good for the game. Uh, as much movement tech as there can be, I'm always down for but just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should it stay or should it go? Anyway, if you guys found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next video.